So does the cheapest thermal insulation you can buy absorb sound and reduce echo? And here we are here with the end result. We have reduced the echoes so much. I'm just shocked at the difference. It's night and day. We went from the worst case scenario with just audio bouncing off the walls and sounding horrid to having it just really sound like a studio now. Like it just sounds so dead. Like the reflections are just all gone. So that answers that question, guys. Thermal insulation, just this is the cheapest stuff we got. This whole room as big as it is, it costs like 300 and something AUD to sheet the whole thing. Welcome back to Tech Yes City and I hope you guys enjoyed that little intro. Today is part two of the three part series where I'm gonna be completing my new studio and once it's done, we'll be able to make a lot of good content. But in the meantime, until then, it's a lot of work. Of course, it's actually a really big room, but also this is my office here at the moment. It's a stop gap until I actually move in there. And as you guys know, with Coffee Lake being uh, released and a lot of other videos coming through the pipeline, I've just been so busy, I've had to keep up this rhythm as well as do the studio and you know what i actually love it it's a lot of fun you guys are here enjoying every step of the way but let's detail what is going on downstairs and what i intend to do with this new studio and of course if you guys have ideas what you want to see drop a comment in the comment section below as well i love reading all these new ideas you guys constantly in every single video i do give me awesome ideas which i will be doing and i have done in the past with a lot of videos so now what we're doing with this studio here is we're putting a steel frame in front of the concrete walls and the reason for doing this is that the walls are actually bowed out a little bit so if we we're doing stick-ons it would be very hard to even out the jip rock i think in the us you guys call jip rock sheet rock so it's the company that makes it over here, they just call it Jib Rock. But you can see here the power points, we're gonna to have to remove them. And I also want to bring them down around about 300 mil. That'd be great for the desk level. Now also we've got pipes running through here as well. So I want to wrap uh, some sound deadening around those pipes. Just, you know, when someone goes to the bathroom and if I'm recording, I won't have this water sound running through. But you can see behind those frames, we're actually gonna be installing the thermal insulation. Now this is R1.5. 75 mil thick uh, thermal insulation from Bradford. We picked this up in Brisbane. I got it for under three Australian dollars a square meter. It was actually the cheapest thermal insulation I could find by a long shot. I think the company themselves that sell it direct to the public were charging like 50 Australian dollars a bag. I went through some third party on the internet and got it for like $30 a bag. So this is Australian dollars too. So it's very cheap. And also in Australia, we have the R1.5 rating. And if you guys are in the US, I think you use like an R8 or an R9 or something like that. That'd be a similar rating. But anyway, guys, we're gonna get on, put this thermal insulation in and try and change a few things up in the studio and get progress started. Frame up as well. And they're gonna put the sheets up too because that's sort of one thing that I don't want to do myself because I don't want like there being bows in the walls and stuff like that. But the rest of all this stuff, we even do the painting and stuff like that. But yeah, we left it to the chippies to do the jib rock and the frame and they were really good as well. So they were really quick and they're doing a really good job. So here's the rack here at the moment. This is on the second floor. So you see here, this is the main hub. Uh, there's a switch there with also power over ethernet. And there is our ADSL 2 plus broadband modem. So hopefully that will get upgraded to better internet in a couple of months. Uh, they said they're provisioning out the MBN in like January, 2018. So I can't wait for that. That'll mean better uploads. That'll mean streams coming back for you guys. Now also another cool thing, uh, Deco sent over this paint your home and Wi-Fi. So these are wireless access points, the AC 1300s. So apparently you can uh, get these and put them anywhere in your home and then plug them up to each other and install an app and then have like this little home network within itself, which is operated via an app. However, one thing that I found a little bit disappointing about this unit was that it wasn't a uh, POE, power over ethernet. So I was actually gonna uh, install one of these in the roof in the middle of the in the room and then just run it over PoE and that way I could run the wires inside the wall. But since it does need a uh, USB cable, uh, like um, actual power via a charger 
Uh, it's going to be a little bit hard to run these uh, in the walls because of this charger. So I would have liked to have seen these been uh, PoE. That would have made a real big difference. I could have seen myself installing these, uh, the wiring for these in the walls and sort of having them look really clean because they do look really good. Like there's just a simple circular model and they are pretty cool and small access points. And they do have five gigahertz uh, wireless support, but also 2.4 as well. Anyway guys, let me know in the comment section below if you've used the AC1300, if you have any tips or tricks and what you like and what you don't like about it. Uh, also, if there's a better alternative, let me know as well. Uh, because yeah, that USB sort of charging port, sort of just, yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit annoying. I would have loved to have seen that PoE, but we're in this room here for a reason because we've got a other YouTuber, his name is Rocket Jump Ninja, and he does a really good peripheral reviews. So I'm gonna be building him a new gaming slash streaming PC, uh, probably in the next month. I don't know exactly when it's gonna happen, but we've got all or a lot of his uh, parts have rocked up here, and we're gonna build him one insane PC. So without giving too much away, he's going to be using an X370 motherboard. He will have a Ryzen CPU, an eight core 16 thread and beast, but the rest of the specs like the GPU and how we're gonna tune this thing in the games, uh, that'll be in the video. Also, if you have some questions for Rocket Jump Ninja and you want me to ask them, let me know in the comments section below. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. A lot of you guys were asking me like, where's part two, when's it coming? Uh, and so I was gonna do it once the sheets were on and the plastering was all finished. So we still have to do, of course, the sheeting uh, and then paint the room and put the carpet in. So that'll all remain for part three, but I might even turn this into a four part series because even if we finish the media room, we still will have to decorate it and put in the desks and get the computers set up and do all that stuff. And that's gonna be still a massive mission to complete. So that is really a lot of work to do, but I'm just looking forward to it as always. And thank you guys so much, not just in the comment sections and every time you guys hit that like button and watch the videos, but also as well, big thanks to the patron supporters too, helping out every bit of money that I'm earning from the channel at the moment is going back into this studio. It's really exciting, absolutely loving it, super excited. But as you guys will know, uh, like things like this foam and stuff like that, the acoustic foam, it does work. Uh, a good analogy that I read on the internet was from uh, this one a person who posted an excellent article. I'll put the link in the description below, but it just made sense. He put it into all logic and it was like, if you want to reduce echo in a room, think of it as like a little bouncy ball and you've got to sort of uh, put in soft uh, stuff and that will drop the uh, sort of echoes. But if you want to say, for instance, soundproof a room and that's where you don't have any sound leaking from that room, then think of it as water filling up in the room. And like, when you think of it, it's like, yeah, that makes sense. So kind of like put that to the test and it just worked extremely well. So big thanks to that person who made that article. Absolutely loved it. Can't thank you enough because it just, yeah, I applied that logic and I was like, yeah, thermal insulation, really cheap and it got the job done. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Both the used parts and the new parts, they'll be hitting the channel and peace out for now, bye. So now what about some other things going on with this studio? You can probably see behind me up here, there's a pipe and there's actually, yeah, clothes wrapped around that pipe. Uh, this is just because when someone would go to the, take a dump, this is because when someone would go to the toilet upstairs, for example, all that water rushing through the pipes, you could actually hear it, it was pretty bad. Uh, so we wrapped clothes around all the bend points and that really did a good job as well of completely sealing out the sound. So we've kind of done everything on the cheap here in terms of sound uh, and audio work, and it's just worked out better than I could have imagined.